大家好，我是胡岩，我在奔萨国立大学学习俄语。今天我得到邀请，我们将要在绘画的世界中遨游。在图画的帮助下，我们将和你一起前往格罗杰夫古城。这里以木画而闻名，在木画中有非常多的颜色，这让我想到了中国的首饰盒和家具上也有这样不同的颜色的绘画。我想了解这两者其中的差别，并尝试自己画一些东西。Is the Russian folk art and craft? It has existed since the middle of the 19th century in the area of Gorodets near Nizhny Novgorod in Russia. Bright, iconic Gorodetsky style paintings, decorated spinning wheels, furniture, shutters, and doors. In 1936, an art hall was founded. And later on, in 1960, it was transformed into the Gorodetsky Painting Factory. Famous masters such as Krukov, Konovalov, and Mazin worked and produced their souvenirs there. Gorodetsky painting originates from the carved spinning wheels of Gorodets region. The figures were carved from a wood of different breed and inserted into a recess. Of the same shape, inserts made in this way had only two shades of wood, and were done with a very simple tool. Folk craftsmen turned the surface of the weaving wheel into a, a real picture. Later, the masters began to apply tintin for visual richness, a bright combination of yellow with dark oak, the addition of blue, green, red colors. Made the main board of spinning wheels even more elegant and colorful. The need to increase the production of the spinning wheels main boards prompted the masters to simplify the technique of decorative design. The plots of the paintings were different. Gorodetsky style is distinguished primarily. By its content, genre scenes give the main impression in the paintings. All these images are conventional in nature, very free and decorative in form, and sometimes border on a caricature. This is the life of the peasantry, merchants, a magnificent parade of costumes. A significant place was occupied by floral motifs, lush roses painted widely and decoratively, idealized decorative images of birds and animals live next to genre-realistic motifs in Gorodetsky painting. There are exotic lions and leopards, especially often the image of a hot, strong horse or a rooster in a. Proud, belligerent pose. Most often, these are paired images, heraldically facing each other. Gorodetsky's style master of painting loves flowers. They are scattered everywhere on the field of images with cheerful garlands and bouquets. Where the plot allows, the master willingly uses the motif of a magnificent curtain, a garland picked up by a cord with tassels. Decorative motifs are emphasized by decorative colors and techniques. Favorite backgrounds are bright green or intense red, deep blue, sometimes black, on which the multicolored Gorodetsky color splashes, especially juicy. In the characterization of the plot, the diluted tones give rich shades of color transitions. The painting is done with a brush without preliminary drawing, with a free and juicy blow. It is very diverse, from a broad stroke to the finest line and virtuoso stroke. The work of the master is fast and economical. Therefore, it is very generalized, simple in techniques. Free in the moment of the brush, there are unique masters of wood painting in our city. They work in this style and bring their own features to it.
It is they who paint firebirds, clusters of snowberries, flowers on wood and create amazing works. So meet the famous master of wood painting and enjoy your work. Good day, dear friends. My name is Angelika Malachova. I am arts and crafts teacher, and today I will explain to you how to make some elements from Gorodet style painting. Each painting style has its unique features and characteristics, and so does the Gorodet style painting. The Gorodet style painting is the brightest uh, painting. There are three specific uh, types of Gorodet style painting the floral design, the floral design with the inclusion of the motifs of the horse or the bird, and the genre painting. In the genre painting, the horse is the symbol of well-being and wealth, the bird is the symbol of happiness, and the flowers are the symbols of good health. The Gradet style paintings draw huge, lush bouquets of flowers. None of the Gorodet style painting can do without the lush roses, the water lilies, the leaves, the daisies and the flower blossoms. If we speak about the genre painting of Gorodet style, the artists like to depict the walks of the couples of gentlemen with ladies, then also the galloping military men on horses, and maybe also the tea party at very rich interior. And when we speak about the animal genre of uh, Gorodet style painting, the masters and the craftsmen like to depict the, the birds with very huge tails and uh, wonderful a decoration of the feathers on them. The birds in proud belligerent poses were walking and set in the city landscapes. They look at each other showing off their feathers so you can meet the proud peacocks on the Gardet style paintings, also the turkeys and the chicken and the rooster. The Garadets artsmen also depict the horses. The horses are always black, with a small black head on the elegantly bent necks, with neatly laid mane, with strong thin legs, with scarlet saddle, energetic and posing. Within several dozens of years, the masters tried to work out the techniques of depicting the flowers, namely roses, daisies, uh, the water lilies, and they worked out specific rules for painting the flowers. First, they prepare the background for the picture. And usually it is yellow, because uh, from the very beginning the wood was painted by the dry leaves of onions. Then they depict the main characters of the picture, the big flowers or animal images. The rose is usually drawn with the pink color, and the water lily is blue color. And now I will explain to you how we can try to use Gradet style painting very easily. And we will try to make kitchen cutting board decorated with this style of painting. The main character of this painting is the rooster, symbolizing happiness. We start our work with preparing uh, the background for the painting. I have the carton pattern in the form of a plate. We will need different brushes 
of different shapes and elasticity the broad uh, brushes we need for the background. The brushes are always uh, soft and round of different caliber. We start our work with choosing the composition. I will show you how to draw such a rooster. The center of the composition, as you can see, this wonderful rooster bird. So, which means that we put the rooster bird in the center of the composition and we put the floral garlands around the edge of our uh, plate. We start from the very center of the image of the tray. Just put the dot in the center of our picture. And we draw a curved line to draw the body and head of the bird. Please also plan the space for a wing on the side of the body. We depict the legs by forming small triangles. Then add the short lines for actual legs and bird's paws. After this, you take a bigger brush and fill in the empty spaces of the body. You put the black color there. Now we draw the bird's tail. It's easy to do. On the bird's back, point the dot. And from that dot, start painting the feathers of the tail. You start slowly with a thin line. And in its central part, you press harder and the line will become broader. And at its end, the feather is thin again. Leave spaces between the black feathers. You will put feathers of different colors in between. The wing we will make red. Let the drawing dry. Meanwhile, we plan how to put flowers to the picture. It's characteristic of a Gorodets painting not to use the pencil. The masters draw with the paint and brush. But if you are a beginner, you can use the templates of circles like I do now. You can place them on the picture where you have spaces. 
you can place a rose flower and it's usually the biggest figure, so it requires more space. Just put a trace of pencil around the template. The smaller circles are going to be daisies. We have free space here too. So I put another flower here and the smallest circles will be berries. We place them around the rooster. The rose flower is going to be pink, so we mix the red and the white paints. We make the pink color. Then we point out the center of the rosebud with red dot. The daisy, or better let it be the cornflower, will make it bloom. place them here and there, we fill the pencil marks with paint. Try not to cross the border lines. Experienced masters do it with the brush at once and very easily. Now it will dry a little and we will finish it up. The berries are going to be red. Now the rooster has dried and we are continuing our work. Add white feathers to the wing and neck. Please use your creativity. We paint coxcomb red. And uh, we decorate flowers and berries with the uh, contrast colors.
Now we continue decorating our wonderful rooster bird. Please add some green leaves in the empty spaces of the picture. Now we start the final stage called the leaving stage. We make the drawing look alive. So when your base for flowers was ready, you add the petals by making uh, gentle strikes or, or moves of brush from the flower center outward. You need more time and accuracy for more complicated elements. And then uh, you also need to practice to be confident. I always tell to my students not to worry and just to be creative and work. And the result always over exceeds expectations. Each artist adds his own creative strokes, but the basic elements should remain. This makes the peculiarity of Gorodet's painting. Now we need some white and black, and the work is done. In my work I used simple motifs, the rooster, and floral design. I used simple gouache paintings. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Меня зовут Хуян. Хуян? Да. да. Меня зовут Анжелика. Угу. Сейчас мы с Хуян, студенткой, попробуем изобразить простейшие элементы городецкой росписи, чтобы долго нам не мучиться. Мы возьмем шаблончики, сразу определимся с композицией. Сделаем ее в середине нашей так как бы тарелки. Возьмем, здесь у нас будет роза и два василечка. Бери, об, обводи, тихо, очень сильно не дави. Прямо чуть-чуть, чтобы только видел этот контур карандаш. Цветы у нас основные всегда в росписи городецкой. Очень яркие, почти всех цветов. Итак, большой цветок у нас будет роза и два василька. И затем мы закончим ее листочками, угу. ягодками, возможно. Итак, роза у нас так называлась в старину роза. Ну и, естественно, она у нас будет розового цвета. Вот это мы выполнили первый этап, который называется подмалевок. 
Теперь мы берем более насыщенный цвет, чистый красный. В серединке мы делаем красный кружочек. Вот что у нас получилось. Очень даже красиво. И главное, принесло много удовольствия человеку. Это самое главное в творчестве вообще. то когда мои дети что-то начинают говорить, а как, а как. Я им говорю, вам нравится, вы рады? Они говорят, да, это главное. Итак, я считаю, что у нас получилась прекрасная работа, которая принесла нам много удовольствия. И в конце своего мастер-класса я хотела бы подарить свою работу, чтобы у человека осталась на долгую память, на светлую память, чтобы нас всегда вспоминали. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Мне нравится. Очень приятно. Я很喜欢画画，它让我感觉很轻松，尤其是我非常喜欢小动物，还有花。第一次就要画出所有的部分，对我来说比较困难的。总的来说，在我看来，我有的，我有这样的机会来了解俄罗斯文化是很好的。在俄罗斯，只有俄罗斯套娃世界闻名，但是事实证明，俄罗斯文化要丰富的多，也更多样化。欢迎大家来感受它